Hello everyone, I'm Random Blair. Today we'll be unboxing the brand new Random Booster Toronto Beats. Now, yeah, it does not look like it right now. I thought it was gonna come with a box, but it did not. So, I'm gonna have to try to remember the parts themselves. So, I think Toronto Beat came with, I think, yeah, the layer itself. I think some kind of 70 ratchet, like 470 or 570, I can't remember. But it comes with a special tip quake. It's supposed to be like a jumping type of Beyblade. But anyway, enough talking. Let's unbox it. So I'm going to unbox all of them because I have the full set. And let's begin. Trial beat. So this is the nearest BX release. It's not UX Beyblade. So the full combo is Trial Beat 470. I mean, it was a 70 height disc. I don't know what type of ratchet it was. Sorry, ratchet. And the new Q tip or Quake. So see here, it's almost slanted. It even has a little gear sticking out. That's pretty cool. So it's supposed to make the Beyblade jump a lot more. Very excited to see this. This Beyblade has a very rough shape, in my opinion. I mean, I thought Shark Edge was crazy, but yeah, this thing's even crazier. So as you also saw, this baby, this set, or random boost comes with a rhino horn. Here, I'm not gonna show them all. A shark edge, I probably am. But I do like that's my favorite random boost. That's not just the prize baby. Play. It came with a drawn dagger as well, which is my least favorite. A hell's chains, and another trying to beat. 
some of well, they do have they have custom combos. Some of them you can even use to get the prize Beyblade yourself without having to pull it out, make your own combo with it. But anyway, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get the stadium ready, and yeah, we'll do some battles. Well, I am back. I got the Beyblade ready. I forgot to mention. I don't think I mentioned this. There is a right spin attack type. So let's do a test launch and then we'll start with some battles. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Uh, Very all over the stage. Kind of sick. So you can see it moving around really weird. Let's see if I can get to do it more. Yeah, it kind of moves around pretty weirdly. Okay. So let's start doing some battles. We're going to start with our defense type. We're going to do Night Lance. So we'll do a total of three battles. Oh. First battle. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Night Lance phase, survivor finish. Okay. Oh. Second battle, three, two, one, let's rip. That's a trying to beat a uh, ring up phase. Okay. Second battle, three, two, one, let's rip. Nice. Okay, that is a extreme phase by trying to beat. Next for Samurai Top, and then we go for UX Beyblade, Wizard Rod. So that'll be an interesting battle. First battle, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Oh, it knocks itself down. That is Wizard Rod for Extreme Finish. Second battle, 3, 2, 1, let's go. That is some Tron Beyblade Ring Out Finish. Okay. Third battle, three, two, one, let's rip. Oh, that is a first finish by trying to beat. That's what I'm talking about. For our balance type, I have picked Hell's Hammer. I know you explain, but I just like this one so much. So, speaking. First battle, three, two, one, let's rip. And that is Hail Hammer Bay, ring out finish, okay. Second battle, three, two, one, let's rip. And that's a extreme finish, yeah, okay, that is Hail Hammer for extreme finish. Third battle, three, two, one, let's rip. Hell's Hammer game yeah, again, yeah. so that's the first paper you get in that trouble being, but then be it once. Yeah. Next for our attack type would be Drawn Sword. Second battle, I'm at, sorry, first battle, three, two, one, let's go. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> and that is Drawn Sword with a uh, ring out finish. Second battle, three, two, one, let's rip. That's that straight face, my Tron beat, okay. Third battle, three, two, one, let's rip. Nice hit. My name's to be Drawn Sword. And it is, okay. So as usual, we'll do at least one battle for their other random boosters against the prize Beyblade. So let's begin. We'll start from 6 to uh, 2. Start with Rider Horn. This also has the Quake Tips, so that'll be interesting. 3, 2, 1, let's rip. Strong beat, okay. Next up, this will be a fun one. Shark Edge also comes with the Quake Tip. Very excited for this one. Three, two, one. Uh, rip. That's the first fish by Shark Edge, okay. Next up will be Drawn Dagger. Comes with Point, forgot to mention that. 
first battle. Three, two, one, let's rip. This looks to be drawn dagger. Let's see Trabi can make a big hit. It's a draw. Okay. We'll do one more battle. Let's just get in a draw. Three, two, one, let's rip. Fish, okay. Next up would be Hell's Chains, one of my favorite read colors actually. This comes with Orb, so this will be interesting. I don't really care about the ratchets that much. Three, two, one, <laughs> Nice six. But it's Hell's Chains that takes that one, okay. So finally we got Tron B for Tron B. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh my goodness. Crazy hits. And it's a draw. Okay. It says it in there draw. Let's do one more battle. Three, two, one. Let's Okay, we'll do one more battle. This is that kind of fun, but I promise the last one. Three, two, one. So, overall, I say for the prize Beyblade, though, mm -hmm. sorry, prize Beyblade, it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fun attack type. Pretty unique as well. I mean, yeah, we've seen it before with these type of tips where they just jump around, but for the X one, for the first X Beyblade that does it, this is actually kind of neat. The way it rides in the extreme line is also really cool. It's kind of neat. I know I said that a lot, but I just can't really describe anything else apart from that. It's just neat. The layer is actually really good for attacks. I did not even... Once, yeah, I mean, when you look at it, it really does look like it. I mean, look at this thing. It's insane. But yeah, I mean, overall, I'll say that I feel like it's a uh, good competitive attack type. Maybe even stock combo-wise, it could be pretty competitive, but now... So like really unbalanced, but you do like the layer. Then I think this could be a competitive attack combo or be used in one. All of these parts actually, I think they'll be used in competitive combos. But anyway, I'm not into that kind of stuff. I just do these for fun. But yeah, I recommend you picking this Beyblade up if you find a way to get it without doing random boosters. That's just, just like a random Beyblade you can get from that set. But yeah, not bad. I like it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click the thumbs up button. Helps with this video grow in the future. Also, click the subscribe button. Helps my channel grow in the future as well. Comment down below what you think of this Beyblade with all the other ones that came with the set. Hope to see you next time. Have a good day on that from where you're from. And bye.